identifying and landing a job can be a long and difficult process for students in today's market. Fortunately, the skills that you're helping them develop in this course will give them a competitive advantage. As with any message, understanding the target audience is vital in employment communication. This includes understanding the changing world of work and looking at the situation from the employer's perspective. With these insights in mind, students can take steps starting right now to make themselves more valuable to potential employers. Developing a personal portfolio and establishing a personal brand, even as a student, are important tasks. And the business communication course is the ideal venue for starting these efforts. A helpful exercise in getting students to think about their career paths is to have them write what we call the story of you, where they've been in their lives and careers so far, where they are now, and where they'd like to go from here. Then they can switch sides and begin thinking like an employer, including being aware of the factors that companies use to grade themselves, such as quality of hire. Other important steps include teaching students to translate their general potential into a specific solution for each employer. By doing so, they can customize their resume to each job opening and to show employers that they will be a good job fit. Students will see lots of alternatives to a conventional resume these days. Everything from videos to infographics. But crafting a conventional resume is still a critical task. Even if a particular employer doesn't ask for it, the process of planning a resume forces students to collect and refine the information they need to have ready during the job search and interview phases. Every job application is unique in some respects, so students need to be ready to adapt their resumes and other employment messages to each opportunity they pursue. Beauvais and Phil textbooks help students adapt their resumes by providing these samples in which an applicant adapted her resume to three different scenarios, each based on a real job opening. In the first, she tunes her resume for an opening in her chosen field. Not all students can find ideal openings in today's job market, and many will need to pursue stepping stone opportunities where they can learn valuable skills while earning a living. In this second example, the applicant adapted the presentation of her education and experience to fit the requirements of a position in a related field. After students enter the job market full-time and gain experience, they'll need to keep adapting their resumes as they pursue higher-level positions. In this third example, the applicant modified the sequence of her resume to emphasize experience over education and continued to fine-tune the presentation to the specific job opportunity. For interviewing, the other major component of the job search process, students can continue to apply their research, planning, and communication skills. Understanding what to expect is essential, from the types of interviews they'll encounter to the questions the employer is likely to ask. Students will encounter a range of interviewing media, from computer-based simulations to phone interviews to interviews using Skype. Preparing for the unique attributes of each medium will help them feel more confident and present themselves more effectively. Feeling nervous is a natural component of interviewing, but students can take positive steps to bolster their confidence and polish their interviewing style. A well-balanced business communication course gives students all the skills they need throughout the job search process, and the course offers plenty of opportunity for development and encouraging feedback. To give your students the best chance of succeeding in their interviews, Consider the comprehensive coverage offered in all three Beauvais and Thill business communication textbooks. To contact your local rep, to order examination copies, or to get further information about these texts, and to download a large complimentary collection of materials for your classroom, please visit Beauvais and Thill's business communication blog.